are these people? This one is from an Indie Media Award honoree, Declassified UK. And I have heard nobody, and I mean nobody, talk about this story. It was written this week, mm. but it's not the first time Matt, Matt Kennard has talked about this. Mm. U.S. US special, special Operations Flights to Israel, special. Israel from UK's Cyprus base are surging under Keir Starmer. Starmer sucks. He really, really sucks. He really, really sucks. Secrecy surrounds unmarked American military planes going from UK territory to Israel, but new information could further implicate labor ministers in war crimes. I mean, not like the ICJ has any <laughs> has any teeth or like any kind of jurisdiction or is actually going to do anything. No. But it's nice to know that that something can happen. Here's your your two oh. genocide warmongers right there. Okay, that was. As they look lovingly into each other's eyes. Biden's one like, grasped the other one on the penis. Biden's and like, <laughs> uh, is this is is this David Cameron? Who's who, who's this guy sitting next to me? Oh, huh? is it is it time for ice cream yet? What is going on here? All right. So, in quick bullet points, you've got Labor's Ministry of Defense refusing to provide any details of secret American flights. That's normal. U.S. Special Forces having flown an average of once a week to Israel from the U.K. base on Cyprus under mm -hmm. Labor. And American commandos are actively helping the Israelis with their assault on Gaza. I didn't think we were allowed well, to allegedly. do that. Allegedly, they're supposedly helping with something. Max put something out today on that. Yep. I do believe we're going to be hands on. Yes. Boots oh, on the ground. Oh, That's... to like operate missile defense. Correct. All right. That's what it was. U.S. Special Forces flights to Israel from a British airbase have doubled in frequency since Keir Starmer took over from Rishi Sunak as prime minister. It can be revealed. Yeah. The anti war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> "Quote unquote lefty Brits, right? They're, they took over from the Tories. At least thirteen planes used by special forces, nearly all of them unmarked, have gone from Britain's sprawling airbase on Cyprus to Israel since Labour took office on July fifth. This works out to an average of one a week since Starmer won the election. Mm. Now." If you had watched AM Wake Up on Tuesday with Steve and I, he actually we went through a list. He, I love that he chose me to be on the show to go through this list because he said he'd been sitting on it for weeks. And it was the 15 mm. most influential Jews in the world by the Jerusalem Post. And number, nice. and number 47 sleeps next to Keir Starmer. So of course, of course they do. So their clear policy now, uh. Uh, number one was Doug Emhoff, by the way. Um, mm. So their now strategy is to not necessarily go for the world leaders, but for the people sleeping next to the world leaders for the influence without actually having to be held accountable. Nice. Yep. Anyway, during Labor's first month in office, four CN-235 planes made the 340-kilometer journey from Royal Air Force Base in Akrotiri to Tel Aviv. In August... Five made the 50-minute flight. October has already seen three such flights to Israel, which flew last Thursday, as well as Sunday and on Tuesday. Two of these Ooh, flights duh. were marked as U.S. Air Force for the first time, because now the uh -huh. mask, mask is fully off. They don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. The majority of flights stayed in Israel for around two hours before flying back to Akrotiri. It is not known what they were dropping off or picking up because that's special forces. My guess is yeah. men and, and troops. It has, however, previously. Yeah, I mean, you're missing you're missing out on the Ark of the Covenant. Well, it has clearly that's what's in there. Previously been revealed that the U.S. is using Ak Akrotiri to deliver weapons to Israel. So that's likely what was right. on on C two CN two thirty five. Yeah. 
All right. One U.S. plane stayed overnight in Tel Aviv on August 2nd before flying back to Cyprus, while another on July 16th took off from Akrotiri at 1.10 a.m. and re returned back from Israel at 6.58 in the morning. Okay. That's, that's a pretty quick turnaround. It's 50 minutes in flight time, so it was on the ground for about three, hour, three four hours and then flew back. Hmm. All right. Um, under the previous conservative government, the classified could only verify 18 similar U.S. flights that went from Akrotiri to Israel over the nine months after October 7th before labor took power, which means that's every other week. Okay. Now it's been stepped up to every week. Yeah. But we're not arming them for their genocide or anything. No. No. Do you bend the wind. The UK government has long refused to give any details of the US of US use of British territory to support the Israeli assault on Gaza, but declassified independently constructed a timeline. They've got to have somebody either on the inside or nearby that's watching. Uh, that would be my guess. And what we're told is yeah. no no comment, of course. All right. Um the New information could further implicate British ministers in war crimes in Gaza, not like they're not already fully guilty of war crimes in Gaza. In November of 2023, a U.S. military official revealed that American special forces were stationed in Israel and actively were helping the Israelis. Again, November 2023, this is no secret. They had been, they had been flying in every two weeks. ICC Chief Prosecutor Kareem Khan has requested arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his Defense Minister Yoav that guy Yoav Gallant. Okay, I think Smotrich and Ben Javier should also be included there too. I'm sure it's a matter of time. The World mm. Court is also investigating Israel for what it has called a plausible genocide in Gaza. Possible. Diplomatic community. How many more fucking bombs do they need to drop in order to prove that? Most of the U.S. <sighs> planes, yep, most of the U.S. planes show that they were recently at Fayetteville, North Carolina, which is home to Fort Liberty. Keep that name in mind. The largest U.S. Yep. Army base by population with nearly 50,000 active duty soldiers. Now, Fort Liberty used to be called Fort Bragg, which is home to well, first, first Special Forces Command, okay, also home to Delta, which assigns, equips, trains, certifies, and validates Army Special Ops soldiers and units to conduct global operations. Allegedly. Yep. Right. Allegedly. No, no, it actually <laughs> used to be called Fort Bragg, and now it's called Fort Bragg. Bragg. That's not allegedly. That's yeah. real. That's that's fact. It's only in Tom Clancy novels that it's Fort Bragg, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. The you Pentagon know? says this unit is the most adaptable. Grisham novels. No, Clancy, not Grisham. <laughs> Pentagon yep. says that this unit is the most adaptable and capable enabling force in the entire United States military. Huh? I would I would guess that there are some Marines that would. Um, argue with that but that's another story for another day <laughs> well as long as they can get their crayons in order they should be able to figure that out once they're done but you know the uk ministry of defense would provide no details about u.s flights going from cyprus to israel they have no reason to a spokesperson told declassified for operational security reasons and it's a matter of policy the ministry of defense does not offer comment or information relating to any foreign nation's military aircraft movements or operations. Yeah. <laughs> so let's hear Not without of... money. <laughs> you had money, we would tell you. No, you, you wouldn't. Know? No, they wouldn't. Uh -huh. No, they wouldn't. You say that. They're under control by, by U.S. and Israeli forces. They're not doing that. Mm hmm But... The CN-235 is produced by Airbus and believed to be used by the 427 Special Operations Squadron, 
which has been described as the Air Force's most secretive squadron and is based, of course, at Fort Liberty, formerly Bragg. That's yeah. what one of the unmarked planes looks like, by the way. I went and yeah. I got a shot of that. I, Googled, I looked it up. That one actually has markings on it, though. It has numbers, but it does not say USAF, which some of them now do. Right. After a reporter filed a FOIA request, the Air Force told him that the unit supports training requirements for infiltration and exfiltration, a reference to the covert deployment and extraction of special forces behind enemy lines. Where are yep. the enemy lines? We're going deep and we're going hard. But where are the enemy lines? Because you're going from RAF in London to Cyprus yeah. to Israel. Yeah. Cyprus, maybe? Well, there was mm -hmm. also word, and this is an alleged thing that we're trying to, con to get confirmation on, of some type of a hacking attack I saw in the Hardlands Discord server uh, yesterday, somebody tagged me and said that Iran had been, somebody had claimed that there was a major um, hack inside Iran and that a lot of systems were down, but they couldn't confirm that. Mm. Number one, Russian hacker. Yeah, that. Um, so, looking at this aircraft, the aircraft's primary military roles include maritime patrol, surveillance, we could be doing surveillance of Lebanon or Israel yep. or Syria or air transport, bringing them weaponry. It can carry 70 military personnel or 48 paratroopers. Do a barrel roll. No, don't do that. Not in that. Do you see the size of that thing? <laughs> Dude, you do a barrel roll in that? Everything's going to flip upside down. Roll. You better secure that <laughs> shit. Look at how many... How many props are on that? Is that a four proper? <laughs> Jesus. You can do it, dude. He's going to believe. You got one, two jets <laughs> plus a prop? Jeez, that's... Okay. Yeah, dude, you'll be fine. In February of 2023, an unmarked CN-235 went to Eastern Europe to support Joe Biden's trip to Ukraine and Poland. That's, I believe, where this, this shot comes from. From Poland. Okay. This plane that Matt's talking about Arrived at the USAF in base in Britain, RAF Mildenhall in Suffolk on February 17th, where it spent the night before leaving for Poland the following day, refueling. One journalist noted that sporting a single-tone, slate-gray livery, this rare, secretive aircraft wore no identifiable national markings, air arm unit insignia, or serial number details. I saw a serial number on that right. on that. Hail, but all the other stuff I, I see there. But the serial number of the U.S. plane at Mildenhall eventually was located and is the same as the plane that has flown from Akrotiri to Israel multiple times since March. Huh. That's Funny how that works. That's weird, huh? Weird. That's weird. Now... CN-235 has also flown from Akrotiri to the Siganella Naval Air Station, uh, operated by the U.S. military in, of course, Italy, twice under labor. The flights went on September 23rd and August 31st. How are they getting these flight logs? I, I don't know, but they're figuring it out. NAS Siganella is the Navy's second largest security command, second only to its base in Bahrain. All right. Under Starmer, numerous U.S. military transport flights have also arrived from Turkey and Germany. Four U.S. military-operated C-130J Hercules have arrived from Adana, Turkey, under the new Labor Administration. It's possible they were carrying weapons for Israel. Sounds like a lot of equipment's possible. going over there. <laughs> and, and the people to operate them, too. Ugh. Adana is home to the Insirlik Air, Air Base, which is a major U.S. facility with 5,000 American personnel. If, yep. only, if only Erdogan would throw us out of there one of these days. With their part of NATO, it's probably mm. not going to happen, but a man can dream. 
The Hercule <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. That can carry 128 combat troops and almost 20,000 kilograms of cargo. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. A Ministry of Defense spokesperson told Declassified that it's standard practice for the MOD to routinely authorize requests for limited numbers of allies and partners to access the UK's air bases. Yeah, standard practice. Any use of the sovereign base areas on Cyprus by other nations would be in line with UK policy for evacuation humanitarian purposes only because they're definitely evacuating the people of Gaza for humanitarian purposes, right? For real? Damn, it must be true. The DOD did not respond. The U.S. DOD did not respond to a request for comment. I'm shocked. <laughs> shocked. Mm -hmm. And these two, by the way, that guy down on the left is the guy who wrote the article. That's Matt Kennard. To the right, that's Mark Curtis. The, 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 the two of them are the co-founders of Declassified UK, Indie Media Award honorees, Class of 22. One of the best independent outlets in the world. They've been reporting on stuff that nobody wants to touch. Original stories for years. Give them a follow. Give them a support. Uh, at declassifiedUK.org. You see the, the website there. Um, they're certainly demonetized and they're user-funded. And guess what? We're user-funded too. And thank you to all the people that do that. Like Anna. Like John H. Like Sean Miller that, that, that gave twice this week. Thank you again so much, Sean. Keeping us afloat, man. I swear we're gonna have to build a wing in the in in the in INN what, Hall of Fame for for Sean Miller. Um, Whoever you are, thank you. Cash dot app slash indie news net dollar sign indie news network. Gotta have that dollar sign in there. You can scan the QR code code fee dot com slash indie news network. You can get there that way. PayPal Rumble. Go to innnewsletter.com and you can subscribe monthly or annually over there. All the different places that you can find and connect with Indie News Network, INN. You've got all of them there. INN Newsletter, YouTube, Rumble, Kick, Twitch, Odyssey, Telegram, Twitter. And of course, all those links can be found at indienews.network, I-N-D-I-E news.network or inn.network. Get there either way. I think INN.network still works. 